Throughout the following course, we'll be exploring one of Bitwig 2's major new features, which is the Unified Modulation System. This Unified Modulation System allows us to use any number of the new modulator devices to add some controlled movement to parameters in either native Bitwig devices or any third-party devices that we might use. Now, when I'm saying devices, I'm talking about virtual instruments, audio effects, and note effects. So there's a lot of possibilities there. Now, some common sources of modulation that you might already be familiar with would be something like an LFO. The LFO, the Low Frequency Oscillator, generates a waveform that cycles indefinitely. And if we assign this LFO to a parameter, the movement of that parameter will follow the movement of the waveform generated by the LFO. Another common modulation source that you might be well aware of is an envelope. We have an ADSR envelope, so attack, decay, sustain, and release. Unlike an LFO, this does not cycle indefinitely. Instead, this allows us to add movement over the lifetime of a note, as long as the note is being held down. So once we strike a note, we can move through the stages of this envelope, and by changing the shape of this envelope, we can change the way that certain parameters are modulated. We also have a bunch of other modulator devices that are, are a bit more esoteric, and we're gonna be exploring a lot of these in more detail as we continue. So without further ado, let's get started. 